The elimination games in the men's Olympic basketball tournament begin this Tuesday, August the 6th, and the USA faces Brazil at 3.30 Eastern Tuesday afternoon on the USA Network. If you're going to watch this game, you might as well enjoy it and make some money while you do so. I'm going to break down how I divide my power ratings for the point spread in this game, but more importantly, where I think the best betting opportunities are for this game in the quarterfinals between Brazil and the USA. That's coming up free with analysis in this video in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and we are talking elimination round now. You know, the U.S. has kind of slept walk their way through the first three games. They won all three easily by double digits, but us point spread bettors don't feel like they exactly overachieved. In fact, they underachieved, according to the odds makers. They were just 1-2 and two against the spread, despite going 3-0, and oh, including back-to-back -back wins, but non-covers against South Sudan and Puerto Rico. And now we find the USA is a 27-point favorite over Brazil, a team that snuck in by one point after finishing third in their group with a negative seven-point differential. They edged out Spain, who was minus eight-point differential. So that 18-point win is only a four-point favorite against Japan made a difference. They had to blow Japan out, and they did so. But Brazil actually hung tough against France and Germany, losing uh, by 13 to 14-point margins. In fact, they never trailed by more than 16 points in any of the three uh, qualifying games and now they're a 27-point dog. So what do we do with this point spread here? Well, first of all, I think the odds makers did an excellent job here. And here's how I derived my power ratings. It's very difficult to put point spreads on this game. We talked about that earlier this last week. South Sudan, a 43-point dog. They lose by one. Then they're only a 29-point dog. They cover again. They played Serbia tight. The odds makers didn't know how to price South Sudan. But we can look at the previous meetings here and derive some common opponents. The U.S. played Germany in the uh, stage play or in the exhibition season last month. Uh, they only won by four. They were about a 15 and a half point favorite in that game. If they were to play again, I think they'd be about a 12 to 13 point favorite. Now, when Germany and Greece played, Greece was a double digit dog in that game uh, earlier in the Olympics. Uh, so we can somewhat use that as a barometer once again to figure out where a pure point spread should be for this game. And looking back on that Brazil um, Germany game. I'm going to pull up the archive here on the Wager Talk Live odd screen. By the way, you can go back on the Wager Talk Live odd screen and see all the past results and the opening and closing lines. You'll see that uh, Germany opened as a 14 point favorite. It closed as a 14 point favorite. Very little movement. They won by 13. So that line was pretty much spot on. So say that, you know, Germany is 14 better than Brazil. U.S. is probably 12 to 13 better than Germany. That'd be a 26 to 27 point line. And that's exactly where it is right now, 27 across the board. So I do think this line came in where it should be. Had it been inside or outside that 25 to 29 range, I would have had to lean on one side or the other. Now, since we're neutral on the point spread as far as value goes, I'm hard-pressed to bet against the Americans in an elimination game. But once again, we have seen them take their foot off the gas. So I think the best way to attack the point spread in this game is to cut it in half. Let's look at the first half line, currently minus 15. If you're going to play the USA here, I think the minus 15 makes sense. Now, granted, you're laying more than half in the first half, but they have taken their foot off the gas, and they will probably conserve and mix other players in, in the second half and just advance to the semifinal game on Thursday. Now, you can make the argument that there's no drop-off when you have NBA All-Stars coming off the bench, such as Bam Adebayo, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, etc., but they have shown some tendency to not finish strong. They only beat Puerto Rico by 21. Now, they were losing early in that game. They are also uh, losing early in the South Sudan game, and they were up by 19 at the half. And keep in mind, that came after a lackluster start against Serbia, in which they turned it on in the second half. So now I look for them to start strong again like they did against South Sudan, but then they took their foot off the gas in the second half of that game. So the fact that they did not cover against Puerto Rico, a little bit of a lackluster start, they were losing outright in the second quarter on Saturday. I think that ensures a stronger start here, uh, particularly like them in the second quarter. So this game is close in-game. Take a look at the in-game bet on the USA. That worked out well against Puerto Rico, and it also worked out well against South Sudan, and actually worked out even against Serbia. They are down early in that game as well last week. But once again, I like the first half better than the full game, minus 15, Team USA. Look for them to start strong, and also maybe an in-game betting opportunity. If they do get down early in the first quarter, don't be afraid to pull the trigger on an adjusted first half line or even an in-game line, and that'll work well also. Now, if they start fast, then we have to figure out who's going to be in the starting lineup if we're looking at player props, and that has been a bit tricky because Tatum didn't play 
at all. And then he played a lot. He started the next two games. And B did not play at all against South Sudan. He started and had a monster game against Puerto Rico. And by the way, we gave that to you as our top opinion here. Hopefully, you're able to find a line. The odds makers don't always post player props on everybody. We all knew Embiid was going to start and he'd have a monster game. And he did so. Now, Embiid did start most of the exhibition games for Team USA in July. So wouldn't be surprised to see him in the lineup again. So trying to guess who's going to play more, Anthony Davis or Embiid, becomes a little tricky. But one thing we know for certain, LeBron's going to be in the starting lineup, and he will play a good amount while the game is in hand, which means the first half, I like LeBron over 14.5 points. Kevin Durant's been coming off the bench, but he's the all-time Olympic leading scorer. He made that mark on Saturday passing Carmelo Anthony. I think the uh, assist record's in reach. I think he still can reach Lisa Leslie for the all-time Olympic scoring record in all of basketball for Team USA. So you know he's going to get his minutes. And he only had 10 points in the last game. He had a streak of 20-plus, five straight 20-plus games broken earlier this month. Um, so I think he gets back on track over 14 and a half as well. By the way, LeBron only had 10 points in limited minutes against Puerto Rico. So I like LeBron and Durant, the two true superstars on this team, to have big games. Both over 14 and a half. I'd be surprised if we don't go at least one and one, if not two and oh with that. And also, I think it correlates to the USA minus 15 first half to get the strong start. Brazil's a scrappy team, but they don't really have any NBA talent. So the USA can name their score here. Being just a quarterfinal game, they do have bigger games on deck, so that concerns me as far as the full game, minus 27. And they have been a bit lackluster, but coming off a slow start against Puerto Rico, just like they had a slow start against Serbia. Then they turned it on up by 19 in the first half against South Sudan. And by the way, they only won by 17. I think the minus first 15, minus 15 first half, that's a mouthful, is the best way to attack this game on Tuesday at 3.30 Eastern on the USA Network. Hey, if you're enjoying these Olympic breakdowns, give me a thumbs up on the video and comment below. Let me know. I will continue to do the semifinal and the bronze and gold medal games as well. So once again, I'll do the remaining games for this Olympic tournament, both semi-games and also the bronze and gold medal games later this week for Thursday and Saturday. If you're finding these videos useful, thumbs up, like, and comment below. Let me know. I read all the comments and I reply back. How are you attacking this game, Brazil and Team USA, on Tuesday afternoon? What other betting opportunities, what other player props are on your radar? Hey, leave some analysis if you have time. Let's learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. If you're finding the content useful, I would highly recommend clicking subscribe and consider hitting the bell as well. Football season right around the corner. I'll be doing weekly college and pro football free play videos. I do daily baseball free play videos right now and also daily shows here on Wager Talk TV. So click that bell when you subscribe for instant alerts. And don't forget, if you want my personal best bets in all sports, you can get the rest of August for free right now when you sign up for the two-month package, September and October, we're including a third month for free. This offer is good all week, but why delay? You've already missed a few days of August, but there's still over three and a half weeks to go that you can get for free. That's every baseball best bet for the next day, every day and night till the World Series in, Oct in the end of October, into the World Series. You might miss a couple days there of November. But don't forget, NFL football is here with the preseason in full swing this week. College football, you're going to get almost half the college season, a good chunk of the NFL season, the rest of baseball, and even the start of the NBA in October. Because right now, you get two months, you get three. You buy two, you get three. Because by September and October, you get the rest of August included for free. All sports, every play, every day. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. That's almost $300 in instant savings. No promo code needed. Get it on my page. And don't forget to check out the daily free plays. I post a free play every day for my clients on my page. If you're not a subscriber yet and you want to build that bankroll, get a feel for how I do things, go check out a free play. It's usually a baseball to play. It's usually the last cut, a game that was just a bit outside from making the cut for my best bets because I'm very selective. I have one to two daily baseball best bets a day. College and pro football, maybe four to five plays on Saturday, four to five plays on Sunday in the heart of the season. NBA and college basketball, one to two plays a day at most. I'm very selective, which means those free plays are highly strong opinions that just missed the cut. Check out a daily free play, but most importantly, get my best bets as well right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on Twitter X as well, at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X on Twitter. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for more great free content coming up next.